general adult psychiatry, we deal with a, a range of conditions in patients from the age of about 17, and the oldest patient I, I look after at the moment is 72, and there's a variety of conditions that we manage within that age range, ranging from psychosis to personality disorder to attention deficit hyperactivity disorder to autistic spectrum disorder, and a whole range of other conditions uh, that are part of the, the mental health service. I'm an adult psychiatrist. I work for what's called the Crisis Resolution and Home Treatment Team and our remit is to work towards keeping people out of hospital or getting them out of hospital earlier than might otherwise be the case without a high level of home support. I am a consultant psychiatrist. I work with the Early Intervention Team which essentially is a service which is looking after young people uh, who have a first episode psychosis. Adult psychiatry is the perfect choice um, because in the term is general and it means we deal with a whole range of conditions. We're not too specialised but we can still develop special interests so we, one day we might be seeing a patient with a, a psychotic illness who needs to be detained under the Mental Health Act. The next day we might be seeing somebody who needs psychological therapy but also MDT working to contain difficulties within their personality. Using everything that's available to you to help improve that patient's quality of life. There is very much a medical component to it. I use my general medical expertise a lot because we get quite a lot of patients with comorbid medical conditions or who may have significant medical issues that need to be taken into account when planning interventions, prescribing medication and so on. I'm sure it's true of most areas of the health service but virtually everybody I've ever worked with has been compassionate, empathic, thoughtful, reflective and if you're working in mental health, you've got to be able to get on with people, <laughs> both your colleagues and the patients. So we have a large number of resources open to us, which might include psychologists, social workers, CPNs and uh, support workers, all working together to try and improve the quality of life of the patients that we're dealing with. So whether you're the SHO for the team or whether, you, whether you're the consultant or whether you're an OT, whether you're a CPN, all of your opinions are kind of valid and you'll come at it from a different kind of angle. In the MDT it's brilliant because we always have a say and our opinion is always taken into consideration. Knowing that some of them at the end of the day are actually going home happy and that they're not actually on their own all the time. We've got a, a lot of research opportunities with having Birmingham University and Warwick University around, um, but also the, these places offer medical education qualifications and these are on our doorstep, which can then lead on to further career choices such as uh, working within a foundation school or working at a deanery level. I found the training has been very uh, valuable and uh, most of the consultants I come across have been very approachable. Uh, and one thing I felt that uh, even from the medical student level, psychiatrists are very keen to teach. So I think uh, there are huge opportunities, particularly in West Midlands. General adult psychiatry is, is one of the most interesting and rewarding careers um, that somebody can go into. I would encourage anybody uh, to, to consider it as a, as a place in which they can offer significant help to vulnerable people.